I have about 22, 24 pounds of beans and rice in here. The room temperature is 79.5 degrees. I got two fans over here. One over here, I don't have this one on, but I have this one on, sucking air from this way, coming this way. My temperature, my phone is a little bit low right now. We're looking at 130 around, 131, 135. Now, like I said, 22 to 24 pounds of beans and rice in here. It was chowder beans, so it had a lot of liquid in it. So I knew that uh, the chamber wall was gonna be able to handle all the ice. And that does not look like much ice because it isn't. Because I've done ran these three times before they got to the drying phase. And uh, if you look in here, you can see a large gap where the food is shrinking. And then, uh, I can't see it now and I don't know if it's, is happening with this but it'll start cracking that's when you know your food is done when your mTORs drop way like that and the reason for it is because during the sublimation sublimation process the under a vacuum and under the heat and under the freezing all put together makes this water turn into vapor which sticks to the chamber walls when that stops happening and you're getting all of the water out of the food the moisture out of the food and onto the walls frozen that's when your m tours drop like this that's when you know your food's done not when the harvest right freeze dryer tells you it's done